Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Don't you just love spring? It's probably one of the best seasons to give me a leap and a bit of joy in my life. And I just love it after a cold, long, long, wet winter, which is what I've had to endure this year. I just love when the light changes and it gets a little bit warmer and all of the spring flowers start to come out. Now I've had a wee wander around my garden and I've got some beautiful plum blossom here. There's not much out but there's enough. I actually bought this Tweedia which is really a summer flower but it's quite nice for use. I saw it at the market so I just had to have that. I've got a little bit of stock, I've got a little bit of lavender, I've got some magnolias and down into here I've got these Oh, the most fragrant, fragrant of, of violets, if not violets, of freesias. They're just absolutely beautiful. Plus, I've got some ranunculus and I've got some winter roses that I thought that I would show you how to gather a few, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Unless you've got a huge garden and you've got hundreds of thousands of bulbs, you usually find that there's only one-offs of around for at the beginning of the spring. So I wanted to show you the design that I do to so that I can bring the flowers inside and just to enjoy them. They, the other thing to tell you is they don't last very long and you'll often find that anything that's on a bulb is best to stay on its bulb or its food source. And spring flowers really do prefer it outside. So when you do bring them inside, they won't last for very long. But this is something that I like to do from my coffee table and it just gives me that lovely lift that I need after such a long winter. So into this box here, any kind of box, whatever size you've got it will do. Um, and I quite like this because it's got these little, lovely little rustic handles so it's a little bit earthy and it's a little bit shabby chic and, and it's not going to be anything design design but more a container in which to group everything that I have gathered to give me more impact, visual impact. So the other thing I've got here are these lovely little bottles which took me ages to get the little labels off but I have got a lotion and potion for how to do that. So I've just filled those with water now and the reason I've used the brown is because as you can see inside the box is brown <gasps> so I just thought that it was the best way. I didn't really want to see the bottles but if you have beautiful little crystal vases you could perhaps use those it's just that that's what I had. Okay so to start all I'm going to do is to, into each of my little bottles, just put a little bit of a gathering of the forms that I, oh, go down there please, that I've gotten. You're going to be governed by the size of the neck of the bottle as to how much you can put in. So I'm just going to put that down to there because that's annoying me because I can't see you. I've got, I did, my daffodils and jonquils aren't yet, out yet but I've got an artificial one. I thought that for today's purpose it would be alright to use that just to give you an indication of where I'm going with this. So they, that can just go down into there. I've got this lovely magna, magnolia which is, oh look at that, it's so beautiful, so delicate and so lovely. The other thing that I like about spring is all the beautiful colours, they're quite clean and crisp colours and I've, yes I do have another one, I'm just going to put, oh, it feels a shame to take that off there but I know that I'm not going to get that into that little neck opening there and just when you're placing them don't worry about putting them and you know so that they look like they're natural, just put what actually stops, what I want to say is just put them as if they're naturally occurring outside. These freesias will give me a wonderful fragrance so they can go down into there and I've got some of these anemones and I've got a few little, oops, hold on, let me just get this over here. I've got some beautiful little miniature daffodils, so I'm, not daffodils, tulips, so I'm just going to put, hopefully I can get two into there and then I've got these anemones, look at that, oh, so beautiful they're just so delicate and so lovely just a couple of those into there just as they are and then I've got a few hellebore now I need to show tell you what to do with the hell when you pick your flowers and if they start to droop down like this that means that they didn't really like coming inside into the wood but if they do get like that all you need to do is to slant cut those ends put them into a little bit of hot water a lot of people say don't do that but I just put them into a little bit of hot water until their little heads revive and then into that clean water there and they should fingers crossed pop up 
Now, what else have I got? Oh, I've got some little bits of stock. And I just think I'll just put a few little bits of stock into there. Let me just get rid of those so that we can have a look at what I've got here. So just a little gathering of whatever you've got in the garden just to bring inside so that you can enjoy. Quick and easy to put together and oh so lovely for just lifting the spirits at this time of the year. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I'll see you another day. Thank you.